Hey guys, just want to let you know about my experience taking the FAA Part 107 drone test and I took it this morning and I uh, passed 80%. A little bit shocked. Let you know about my experience. Um, I studied for a couple of weeks, I watched videos like Tony and Chelsea Northrup's video, B-roll, uh, just a few others that uh, I would search on YouTube like past part 107 and then with those videos I'd put them like the newest videos first just so I could see how you guys uh, your experiences and taking the test and different questions that they ask because it just it changes over over the years they at the FAA they just continuously are adding new different wrinkles of questions into their database I uh, took the test over by the Torrance Airport Got in there about 9.45, 15 minutes early to take my 10 o'clock test. And I arrived and the guy asked me if I want to do it now. Um, it said, yeah, the sooner the better because I just had so much information in my head. I just wanted to unload it on the test. Get in there and they log you in and then you uh, take a few random uh, example questions having nothing to do with t taking the part 107 test. You go through that and then you get to the actual exam. I started going through it, uh, most of the questions were rather easy, basic, uh, that you'd find kind of like on the, the FAA's practice test, which is totally, I don't know, just seems kind of outdated and, and doesn't really give you a true sense of what the current test is like. About uh, 19 or 20 questions in, it was pretty basic, kind of like a lot of the other practice tests that I've found online, but uh, after about 20 questions or so, it, it drastically changed and uh, heavily uh, based uh, with sectional charts going through that airman's book. I would say at least 15 questions or more were uh, based on sectional charts, so be sure you know how to read that, how to read uh, lat latitude and longitude, which was very easy. There just some tricky questions, just different, uh, you know, you gotta watch out for MSL, AGL, different uh, air spaces. Just read the question over and over because they'll try to trick you sometimes. Um, so I was struggling a bit with the sectional. I was maybe about 50 or 60 percent sure on some of the answers, but uh, I would just write on the sheet of paper just the different questions that I was unsure about, which were, you know, close to about 15 or so. 15 or 16 um, but that kind of uh, I was able to gauge that to kind of tell me that okay I am probably hopefully gonna fall within the 70% uh, passing of the 60 question exam went through hit question 60 and then I went back to my notes to see what questions I was unsure about and then I went through all those which were close to about 20 that I had marked off that I just wanted to go over them again. I think I changed the answers to maybe two or three of them, which is kind of scary. Finished the test probably with about 10 minutes left. That's kind of embarrassing because I've heard some guys say they take like a half hour or 45 minutes, an hour. I mean, I kind of did that, but I was just, I just wanted to be very thorough. So especially I just wanted to get through the test so then I could just go through it, take it again and then just double check my work and then just thoroughly look through the book which is rather hard to do once your eyes start to get a little fuzzy. I wish I had brought a magnifying glass with me because I was struggling a bit just to read like different frequencies. Some of the questions, a lot of the questions, you know, what the radio frequencies are which are super easy to answer but uh, it was hard for me to read because they're in such tiny print and then especially uh, there's two or three questions on that Dallas Fort Worth um, crazy map, one of the um, figures. I'm sure you're familiar with it. Just there's just a lot going on, and you're trying to look for towers and stuff. Definitely check out those videos that I had mentioned, and then probably one of the best practice test websites I've gone through is the I think it's called King Schools, and uh, which some of those questions are kind of I don't know if they're that relevant as far as this test because they do ask some kind of bizarre uh, runway questions that I don't really think are on that are applicable to uh, 
this one of seven test drone specific questions are pretty good and um yeah just they had a couple questions with moas there was a what is it adsb that airplane tracker they were asking about that if if uh you put on a drone or whatever which is forbidden because we're gonna have remote id there weren't really any remote id questions there were no questions on uh, the different category drones there were no questions on flying over people because i i thought all these new questions were gonna definitely be on this updated quiz but i didn't see any of that i saw maybe two questions about weather a couple of questions with METAR, just interpreting the uh, zulu time and from uh, what time uh, the current weather is or they asked about the uh, type of clouds and then uh, later on what the clouds might uh, change into so a couple, couple questions on that but mainly i want to it felt like it felt like the whole quiz was on sectional i know it wasn't but it just felt that way because it just started stressing me out once you know, like i said once i get past got past uh, 20 questions or so it was just okay refer to this figure refer to that figure just a lot of page flipping but remember you have a lot of the answers are already in the book um, frequently go back to the beginning of the book and look at the different uh, classes of airspace a couple of questions they're asking different airspace the uh, max altitude I think it was something like that but just um, really take your time be thorough they do try to trick you, and uh, I guess that's about it with my experience. Pretty happy, past 80%, so I still have to do some more paperwork and then get my little card in the mail, and then hopefully I can uh, start doing some uh, commercial work, real estate, things like that, and get hired to do different projects. Okay, that's my experience. Thanks for watching. Also, add on the uh, exam results, they do tell you the uh, in codes what questions you got wrong so I guess I can uh, put those on the screen and go through those pretty quickly